All right, what's up you guys, you're watching Zilocity and in this video, I have something very interesting to share with you. If you have heard about creatine, then you must have heard a lot of benefits when it comes to muscle gain and strength gain and whatnot. We keep hearing about this, right? What if I told you that that's not the only thing that matters, at least not to me. When we talk about creatine, muscle gain is not just the only benefit we're talking about. So let's first understand what creatine does. Whatever tasks we do in our daily routine, daily life, that requires some amount of energy, right? And that energy, the unit of that energy is called ATP. ATP is nothing but adenosine triphosphate. It's basically adenosine and three phosphate molecules. That's how it's called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, okay? What happens to your ATP after it's used? It turns into ADP. I know this might sound a little nerdy, sciencey, whatever you want to call it. It's not that technical. I will not dive deep into the technicalities, but simply telling you ATP, when it is used up, it turns into ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate and that cannot actively participate in energy production the way ATP does the bigger brother okay ATP cannot actually perform the energy production it cannot really give you energy ATP does so ATP is the bada bhai jo actually kaam karta hai, who does the job and ADP is the nikamma chota bhai who's useless now when the ATP is used up it turns into ADP and ADP is basically useless unless creatine comes into the picture oh, oh. here I come we like to take notes now what creatine does is it donates its phosphate molecules and now ADP becomes ATP. So it basically helps so with the ADP ATP recycling process. Theoretically, I hope you understood what this means. Practically what actually happens, creatine actually helps with better energy levels and better performance. Obviously, whatever cardio, weightlifting, yoga, sports, whatever you do, you're going to perform better and have better ATP production. Now, this also translates to some indirect muscle gain benefits, obviously, because now let's say if I'm doing pull-ups and if I do 10 reps of pull-ups, but if I take creatine, I might be able to do additional one or two reps, which indirectly helps with more muscle breakdown, using more, my, more of my muscle. The more demand you create for the muscle protein synthesis, and if you supply your body with a good nutrition, then you will be compensated for and you will actually build muscle. That's how the process works. Now, there are dietary sources of creatine. There's meat, there's rajma, but you'll have to eat 1.1 kgs of red meat to get five grams of creatine. You'll have to eat one and a half kgs of rajma to get five grams of creatine. So that's really hard to eat one or one and a half kgs of one food the entire day. You'll go bonkers, okay? That's why supplementation is the best form. But now the whole topic of this video, muscle gain is not the only benefit when you talk about creatine. It definitely helps you with indirect muscle gain. There is definitely so much more to creatine that we are still on a journey of understanding that. And there are really strong convincing studies which show that creatine can actually help with your mental health as well. In a systematic review of randomized controlled trials, there is strong evidence that creatine supplementation can actually boost your brain function and cognitive performance. And your mental health does not just include your mood, it also includes your memory, it also includes your focus, it also includes your ability to learn new things. Creatine can actually help with that. There are also some neuroprotective benefits with creatine that it actually protects your nerves and your central nervous system and your brain. There is also a clinical trial, which is actually very reliable uh, in terms of the evidence that it portrays. It has actually shown that creatine can actually help with better cognition that too in elderly people so that's actually really mind-blowing and there are some emerging and yet convincing studies that show that creatine also helps with better gut health especially for people who have irritable bowel syndrome so i think we're just blindsiding ourselves when we talk about only muscle gain when we talk about creatine because there's so much more so much more undiscovered territory that we still need to explore as far as the studies are concerned as far as the safety of creatine is concerned I'm 100% convinced and you should be too, uh, obviously to each their own, right? You, I, I would actually encourage you read these studies, you actually go and learn more about this because I don't want you to just blindly believe in something just because some YouTuber is saying that. Uh, I would want you to do more research, dig deep in this. If you believe me, then good. If not, do your own research. I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced that a 5 grand dose of creatine is completely safe because these studies about creatine have been going on for decades now, especially for athletic performance, and they're all directing towards the fact that creatine is safe. So I'm 100% convinced on that part. So a five gram dose of creatine every day, post-workout, pre-workout, whatever time of your day is really good. And the creatine that I use is Fuel One Creatine Monohydrate. This is 
easily absorbed in water. I consume five grams of this. You can literally take it any time of the day. I take a five gram dose. You can start with three grams. You don't have to load it. You don't have to go all crazy about it that you need to take 20 grams for one week, then 10 grams for one week. You can just simply take five grams daily. Simple. And creating supplementation has definitely helped me with better gut health, better energy levels in the gym, obviously. And I feel stronger in the gym. I can lift heavier. I can do much better in my daily routine. I feel more energetic. So, so if you want to buy the Fuel One Creatine Monohydrate, then you can check out the link in the description and use my coupon code ZLF1 for additional discount. This is literally a very genuine recommendation that I'm giving you, not just for an ad or promotion. This collab I'm doing with Fuel One, obviously because I like how genuine their products are. I like how authentic their products are. And I'm just promoting this to you guys because I feel this is a really good brand. You should obviously do your own due diligence and your research. I would really encourage that. But as far as my genuine recommendation is concerned, I use the Fuel One creatine along with my Fuel One Way ISO Max, which I take post workout and I usually mix it both in the same shaker and I have it post workout. That's it for this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then you know what to do. Hit the like button, share this video with your friends and family, and do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. Whenever I post videos, you will get notified. And this is my Instagram. You can check out my Instagram and the niche website ka link here in my description. You can check out my website if you want to join the transformation program or take my video consultation. There are great offers running for the new year, so you can join it and I'd love to help you. Bye-bye, take care, namaskar, and wishing you a very happy and healthy new year.